How real is this? I know them whole niggas gon' be feeling this East Coast nigga, but how trill is this? Still don't give a shit, my ignorance is still a bliss Welcome to another episode of Selector. Evan here with ASAP Rocky. What's up? What's up? What it do? What it do? What's up, people? Thanks for coming through, man. Really yeah, appreciate I'm happy it. To be here. Man. Yeah, man. Thank you. Yeah, man. That's what's up. Yeah. When did you first start rapping? I first started rapping when I was uh, eight years old. Yeah. Okay. My brother put me on to it. He okay. told me to just kick out and bust out with a freestyle. He's banging on the table okay. with a pencil, and he had like a tape deck recorder, and he was recording himself live. And you know, I just started rapping off the top, and from there, he gave me enough confidence to pursue rap. Okay. So I owe him, you know. You guys have like in-house producers, right? Yes. Okay, but you also work with other producers, like Correct. you're working with uh, you work with Clams Casino. Yep. And you're working with Arab right now. Yeah. So. What's the difference between those like field of producers? They both have the same kind of ambient feel to it. Okay. It's just one is more raw and the other is more, I, I want to say like intriguing and classical, you okay. know what I mean? So for instance, like A-Rap, he, he, he'd make an ambient beat, but it's something that like sounds hard, you know what I mean? Pause. Right. And, um, <laughs> and Clamps, he might, he might make an ambient beat and it's like, it's druggy. And it just makes you want to just lay back and go to sleep and like rest in the clouds. Okay. And I learned how to manifest people to, you know, like both. Right. So that's why I fuck with the both, both the two producers. Okay. In house, when you're sitting with your producer, do you like say, this is the kind of beat I want? I mean, when I met Ty Beats, the first beat he gave me was Purple Swag. Like, and I heard it, and I'm like, what the fuck? I said, you sure you from Harlem? Like, cause you know, he's younger than us. He, right. he was the, out of all of us growing up together, he was like the last one, you know what I mean? Like we're all in our early 20s, he's like just hitting 18. Oh, damn. He's only like, okay. he's a baby, you know what I mean? Yeah. For him to be that young and be that creative, it was like, this was destined to happen. You know like in the 80s when rappers weren't shit without a DJ? Right. I feel like nowadays it's like rappers aren't shit without that good producer. Right, I feel and he's, he's like, com Compatibly, my like significant other, no homo, when it comes to this music, like you know, he's right. that's my producer. On some yin and yang shit. Yeah. Okay. Honestly. Oh. Look, this is what my niggas do on their free time. Yo, this is some real Ron Jeremy you soundtrack. Sweet, right? white bitch, she got the hair with the gold. She got the, she got the Yo, this is some running on the beach with the hair flowing type shit. Yeah, this is some real Fabio meets 91210 type shit right here, nigga. No more jokes on the beat. Who made that beat? That was Twin Sister. It was Who? called Space Babe. Who's Twin Space Sister? Space Babe. It's, yeah. No disrespect to Twin Sister. We, nah, we fuck with Twin yeah, Sister. We fuck yeah. with she Do her and her sister look good? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this sound like some mace, some shit, mace or slaw. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, take that, come on, take that, take that, yeah. Alright, we fuck with this. Thank you. 